this is Tuli from Down Under with the 32nd episode of the Prayer Podcast. It's really great to be back on the Prayer Podcast again. I was super inspired to record this message even though it's crazy, crazy busy at the moment and I just had eight days off work with a chest cold and asthma and I have had one week back at work and now I'm about to fly out on holidays with my family in a few days so I was inspired to uh, record a short podcast uh, because I felt the Holy Spirit really wants to reach out and make sure everyone is okay and that we give each other hope and pass on joy and inspiration through the word and prayer. So there are two short passages that I'll share today. One of them's from the Sunday message, Learn From Me, Testify, and the other is a little excerpt of Sonsengim's life stories about praying in the mountains and that was from a message around three and a half years ago. So <clears throat> these um, passages they talk about the importance of alertness and the key is about doing things of your own volition so taking ownership and through that we get power so that is the way that Son Singing was able to do the tremendous um, life of faith that he has accomplished so through taking action because he wanted to do things I have found this week that that is what has given me power it's not me just being dragged around to services or dragged around to, to put on prayer or dragged around to evangelize, but I do these things because I want it. It's, it's my path that I have chosen in life. So I'll share these two passages and I hope that you get that inspiration too, uh, even enough power to take a few more steps. So first of all, from the Sunday message, even if you live your life of faith, you should not just live it normally. It will let your spirit succeed eternally and your body to succeed during its lifetime. So you should do it fully, shouldn't you? Only then will your heart and actions not flow elsewhere. If you do it without alertness or in a boring way, your destiny will change and you will end up somewhere else. You should study, work hard and work diligently while calling the Lord's name. Amen. I love that bit there, <clears throat> like if you do it without alertness or in a boring way, your destiny will change and you'll end up somewhere else. Sorry, the roof is creaking a bit, there's a lot of wind coming down the mountain tonight. Okay, so in this part here, um, yeah, sometimes we can do things routinely, just thinking that we have to do these things to make our faith survive. But as the word also said, do new events of love do new actions uh, because our love should stay alive with the Trinity and Jesus so let's find new ways that we want um, to express our love through express our thanksgiving through uh, when we pray when we sing when we listen to the word secondly <clears throat> the, the um, little story from something in his life uh, about his prayer time so this is an excerpt from the message which was very conversational so it's yeah, conversational style it says, <clears throat> so I took action on my own. I went to the mountains and I prayed. I mean, if my parents told me to do that in minus 15 degree weather, the temperature is similar to what it is now at minus 13 degrees in the pre-dawn. So I tested it myself at minus 13 degrees. I opened the door and within one minute, I could not help but shut the door because it was so cold. It was really cold. At a time when the temperature was that cold, I would go to Tedunsan Yongmokgol Valley and there was no way that I could overcome that kind of cold. See, I did it because I did it on my own. Do you think I would ever do that because somebody told me to do it? I would run away thinking, are you trying to make me freeze to death? See, that's how powerful it is when you're doing it on your own, of your own volition. Do you understand? So because I did all of that, that's why I was able to exist. That's why I was able to make that mission exist. And that's why I was able to take action on that mission. Because I did it on my own, of my own volition. Therefore, you too, if you always take action on your own in the Lord, you will advance. You will make progress and you will become more ideal. When you do it on your own, of your own volition, you can do it three times, ten times, twenty times, a hundred times, one thousand times better. Amen. So I'll finish up now with a prayer. And I was inspired 
mainly to pray for those who are feeling frail in body, soul or spirit. So let's pray for these people. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, I just want to pray that everyone who needs to hear this message today will hear it and be encouraged. I pray that those who feel frail in body, soul or spirit will receive hope and energy and take steps forward calling on the Holy Spirit. I pray that people in each of our Providence churches around the world will reach out to each other, pray for each other, converse with each other and eat together so that everyone can be comforted and receive new energy and hope. We pray that Son Seng Nim and the defense team will receive the refreshment of the Holy Spirit, the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, renewed vision and clear inspiration. And lastly, I pray for each individual involved in the various trials taking place. God, we are all human beings on earth here and we go through many tribulations and temptations. Please lead each one of our brothers and sisters back to providence and protect them from harm. God, we give you thanks and eternal glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great weekend. Peace.